In this video, I'll show you how to draft an asymmetrical brim. You can add this brim to the bucket hat crown we drafted in a previous video. If you need information about drafting a basic bucket hat, see the link in the video description below. This video is just an addendum to the video describing how to make a bucket hat pattern. I am not going to cover all the basics as I did in that video. An asymmetrical brim has one part of the brim that is longer or shorter than the rest of the brim. For this example, I've made the front longer, but you can make the back longer or even the sides. It's completely up to you. The steps are still going to be the same. We begin, as always, by drawing a straight line on our pattern paper. In the center of the line, approximately, draw a perpendicular line to the line you just drew. Center the head size template in the middle of this cross. Trace around to complete the head size shape. We are only going to be working on one half of the head size line. Determine the length you want for one side of the head size. In my case, I'm making the front longer and the back shorter. These are just arbitrary measurements and you can choose whatever you want. Remember, this is just my example, so I'm making the front longer than the back. You can definitely work making the sides longer and the front and the back shorter, or whatever combination of this that you want. I'm labeling the front center front and the back center back. For the sake of the video, I am working in marker, but as always, work in pencil. Here, I'm using a pencil to lightly draw in a curve that is the shape of the brim that I want. You're never limited to just a curve. This can be a square, a triangle, any random shape that you want. But if you want it to be a smooth curve, make sure that you have a 90 degree angle at center front and at center back. This will ensure that the two ends don't form points. It's very obvious at this point that the center back is much shorter than center front. Cut out along the center line and start cutting along the outer edge of the brim. You're also going to cut the head size line. You will have a half moon shape. Just like the basic bucket hat, we're going to fold point to point along the head size line in half. Then once again, you're going to fold in half point to point. Once more, you're going to fold in half point to point. Make sure you really crease those lines. Unfold the brim pattern piece. For the sake of the camera, I'm going to be drawing in these lines. You don't necessarily have to, but it's just easier for you guys to see what I'm talking about if I do. Now you are going to measure in from each of the lines the set distance you want to reduce the outer edge by. In this case, I'm reducing by 3 eighths of an inch. You can see more about this in the basic bucket hat pattern video. At center front, I'm reducing by 1 half of my measurement. In this case, 3 sixteenths is half of 3 eighths. Again, for the sake of the camera, I'm going to draw in my new center front and center back lines. Cut your new center front and center back lines. Cut the fold line to, not through, the head size line. You are then going to swing one side over to match the mark that you made. You might have a little jog at the bottom. That's okay. We're going to smooth that out in a little bit. Once you have it moved over, tape it down. You're going to repeat for every line that you have. Now you'll see the little jog I was talking about. Don't worry, that'll clean up in a minute. Here, all the lines have been cut and moved. I tape down the piece to my workstation. I take a piece of paper that is big enough for the entire piece to be cut. Lay it over the piece and draw a straight line. Now line that straight line up against center front or center back, whichever you prefer. Trace the shape underneath, following the curve of the outer edge and the head size line. You can tape down the piece of paper so it doesn't slide around on you. On the outer edge, just draw smooth curves through all the jogs. 
Don't forget to label center front and center back. Remove the upper piece of paper and flip the cut piece upside down. Repeat for the other side, being sure to match center front exactly where it starts and stops. Don't forget to label the other center back. Now add seam allowance to the outer edge of the brim. In this case, I'm using a quarter inch. The head size line for this brim pattern is going to get the same seam allowance as the crown, in this case, 3 8 of an inch. I'm also going to add 3 8 of an inch to center back on both center back edges. And this is what your piece should look like when all the seam allowance has been added. You can now cut out your pattern piece to test. Notches get added the same way as the basic bucket hat, so basically it's the middle between center back and center front, and of course always keeping a notch at center front. The brim constructs the exact same way as the basic bucket hat brim, and you can see a link for that video in the description below. You might have to adjust the way you do your channel stitching, but that depends on the shape of your brim. I hope you've enjoyed this quick video. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment section below and look forward to more millinery videos in the near future.